there, it's Linda here. Thanks so much for joining me today as I play with some of my Alta New goodies. I'll be using lots of Alta New inks today and this beautiful ornate foliage stamp set. It's a layering flower and as you can see on the back you have all these little hints as to how you might layer all the bits and then they're all marked on the front with a line around them showing you which ones go together. So it really is very simple. <laughs> So I've decided that I'm going to use this one particular floral spray uh, from the stamp set and I'm going to use it twice on my card front and then I'll be using the gorgeous Ulta New dot, Dotted Swirls Debossing Cover Dye over the top of it. So inking it up with my Versafine Onyx Black and I do ink it twice just to get a nice bold coverage. And then I was going to leave it in the same spot exactly, but ended up moving it and just getting a smaller amount of the floral image up in the uh, top right corner. And this is the way my card ends up um, being oriented with the larger spray in the bottom left and this smaller spray in the top right. Then it's just a matter of finding the pieces that go uh, with each corresponding part of the flower. And it's really very simple with the guide that you get with the stamp set. They even give you colour suggestions that you might like to try. But I absolutely love my gorgeous uh, Alter New inks. The Razzleberry, Ruby Light, Pink Alicious and Pink Diamond uh, set of four. So along with the oranges, uh, let me just check. Uh, the Sunkissed Orange Cream, Autumn Blaze and Fire Brick. They are the colours that I use today uh, as, as well as just a couple of the greens. I use uh, Olive and Parrot uh, for a little bit of the foliage but you'll be able to see uh, which stamp, which uh, ink colours sorry, I'm using each time uh, from those ones that I've just mentioned to you now. So. I don't show you the stamping for the whole uh, card front for both flowers because obviously once you see me do it on one flower it's the same for the next. I do change up the colours a little bit but I do use all those colours that um, I mentioned to you before so you'll be able to see on the screen which ones I've, I'm using at the time. And it really is very simple just to find the coordinating piece in the stamp set as I'm doing here just putting one back finding the next piece this is all those uh, little parts of the the petals and I decided I'd use Sunkissed for a beautiful uh, orange tone in the center of that flower it is important to wipe off and clean off the stamps of course before you move on to the next section and of course you have to be really careful um, that you don't get inky fingers and end up putting ink where you don't want it. That's, that's a problem I often have I can certainly assure you. So this little bit here just uh, gives you that base for each of the flowers. It's a tiny little detail and I used the deeper orange colour for that. Then I've got the petals here on the smaller flower that's just off to the side of the spray and stamping first of all with the Razzleberry and then move, moving my way through the colours from darkest to lightest on that particular first spray that you saw me doing. And it really does uh, turn out quite beautifully the, the way that you... Um, just build up the layers of this beautiful ornate foliage stamp set. It's different to Alta New's other layering flowers obviously because you're not layering uh, one image on top of the other, you're just layering them more one beside the other. And I did have a bit of fun, I don't know if you just saw it, but I did have a bit of fun trying to work out those two petals that I uh, have stamped there in pink alicious I first of all had them around the wrong way and I thought to myself oh geez something wrong with this stamp set 
oh, they've given me the wrong piece. And then realized I had the two around the wrong way. Just turned them around the other way and, oh, okay, now they fit. Silly me. So just moving my uh, card front piece up to the top of my misty now so I can stamp these leaves that are going off the bottom of the card and using olive and parrot beautiful greens these two and this is a cute little idea the uh, leaf here has two parts to it so you can do a darker and a lighter section should you wish to just to build up a bit of interest and dimension so here is the dotted swirls embossing cover die and as you can see it's a different size to our Australian card fronts uh, so it won't deboss uh, my whole card front so I'll have to cut that down a bit which I did but that's okay because I used some patterned paper to build up uh, the, to the um, Australian card front size. Now I really wanted to use this with deepest sympathy die cut from Impression Obsession. It's so beautiful but I didn't like the way it looked with the frame around it. So I'm going to cut off the frame but I'm going to just continue these letters beyond the frame or into the frame really so that it, it um, looks doesn't look like those letters are just chopped off and going nowhere. So once I've done that rubbed out my little bits of pencil marks and laid it down on my card front. I was really happy the way that with the way that looked. So that seemed to work nicely for my sympathy card. This didn't start out as a sympathy card, but unfortunately we needed one, so it turned into that and the flowers of course always work quite well for sympathy cards. So a little bit of patent paper from MFT down the left hand side and then using my tape runner just to add my stamped piece to the front and my card is complete. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've hoped you've enjoyed seeing this card come together and I hope to see you again soon. Mm -hmm.